So let's look into the PPP configuration now. So these are some of the uh, command that you can use. Uh, first, on the Huawei device, you can use a command called link protocol PPP, and by default, this protocol is already being configured. Another protocol that you can support on the Huawei is the frame relay or HDLC. Then you also can configure the timer, uh, which is an optional. So during LCP configuration, the local end send LCP negotiation packet to the peer. If the local end does not receive a reply, uh, within the specific second, then it's going to retransmit. Okay, so this is a optional command. You can actually specify the timer. Then we can configure the PPP authentication. Remember, as I mentioned, that this is an optional command. But before you do that, on the peer, all right, you need to configure the local username and the password, followed by whether you want to use a cipher or irreversible cipher password, then you are going to mention that this particular username is mainly used for PPP. Remember that we learned on the earlier topic that we can put a service type at FTP, Telnet, SSH, but rather than we use for interactive login, we are using this for PPP authentication. So the keyword here is PPP authentication uh, mode pack. Remember the username have to be uh, pre-configured okay so on the serial interface you configure pad because you can use pad or chat then on the same interface you are going to specify uh, what is the username and the password that i'm going to use now instead of using pad as i mentioned uh, pad is not secure then we can actually use the chat so for the chat, uh, same thing we still have to configure the local username and the password and the service type is uh, PPP, but this time we are going to use PPP authentication mode is chap. On the same interface, we are using a keyword PPP chap user followed by the username and PPP chap password followed by the password. So here we have the full authentication using a PAP authentication. Now I want you to take note that we have uh, two rows here. The first row here is the authenticator. And the second row here is the peer. So the experiment uh, include enable PAP authentication on PPP link between R1 and R2. R1 is an authenticator and R2 is a peer. So this is how it actually works. The R2 have to send this information to R1 so that R1 will able to authenticate it. So that's why we call authenticator. So let's look into the configuration. R1 we are going to specify the username and password. So local user Huawei password cipher Huawei 123. So this is our password. Local user Huawei service time is PPP. Just like I mentioned here, we are going to use a PPP. On the interface, we are actually specify link protocol PPP and we are going to use PPP authentication pad, right? and we already have an IP address, so we use a fixed IP address over here. Now let's look into the peer configuration. On the peer configuration, which is this part here, we are going to specify the uh, interface, which is 100 using PPP, but this time we are going to specify that PPP, you can see that it's different here, on the peer, PAP local user Huawei password cipher, which is 123 over here, and we also have the IP address here. So you can see that there are only three commands that we are using, link protocol PPP, PPP pad locker user Huawei, password cipher 123, uh, Huawei 123, and finally we put the IP address. So this is where you are going to configure uh, one-way pad authentication. If you want to configure two-way pad authentication, then you also have to specify uh, on the uh, R1, uh, the uh, username and the password on R2. So it's uh, authentication on both way. So let's look into the configuration, but this time we are going to use a champ instead of a pep. So here again, we have our authenticator and the peer. Remember that using pep is two-way handshaking and using champ is a three-way handshaking. So let's look into the first one here on R1. So you can see that the configuration are the same. So we select the user, we create a user called Huawei with the password 123 and we specify that this is for PPP purpose. We go into the 
interface 0 1 slash 0 slash 0 we specify the protocol we are using is PPP we specify we are using a check that's all you need on R1 on R2 you can see that we are using a link protocol PPP uh, PPP chat username is Huawei and then we put that PPP chat password cipher Huawei 123 that's a password that's all you need to configure on the chat all right so you just remember some of this command you are good to go you can practice this command is legit command go ahead and practice that in the uh, ENSP